Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Felicia, everybody calls me Flick. In today's video, as you can see, we are doing another one of the Disney Princess Storytime palettes and Skin the Wheel chose Sleeping Beauty, the Aurora palette. So that is what we are going in today with, with today even. Also have the single highlighter to use as well. So if you want to see how I got on with the palette, how I created this look, and uh, my general thoughts and feelings on it, then keep on watching. Right, so we are back. We have Sleeping Beauty and Ariel to pick from. So again, I'm going to use the Spin the Wheel app. Sleeping Beauty. Cool. Aurora. So just so let me quickly tidy up the mess that is my desk a bit and give me a bit more space to work with and we will come back also i have the highlighter from this one don't i so i may get that out and try and use that i'll be back in a sec all right eyes primed it's all unpackaged this is what it looks like i kind of want to use the greens but i don't know why i just kind of do maybe I think I have an idea. Okay. I'm going to take the shade Maleficent, which is that green. Uh, I'll take it on this prime, no, needle brush even. And I'm going to pack that through my crease. Let's just. So that's blended. So it's quite a pastel shade. I'm going to blend it out with the shade 16, which is this one. Okay, these ones are even less pigmented than the last lot. Mm, okay. Mm. I feel like it needs to be deepened up a bit, but I just I'm gonna take the shade, make it blue. Um, oh, I've got some other brush. Nah, I have to build that one. Uh, I'm gonna really. Yeah, this is not. Mm. This is not going the way I was hoping. Yeah, this isn't going how I wanted it to. Mm, where's my, where is my lips? Maybe my mistake was going in with, with the greens first. I'll try the blue first. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna go in with make it blue first and hope hope that it's a bit more pigmented going on first. Yeah, that's definitely better. Okay, much better going on first. Now I'm going to take that first green, that Maleficent shade. I 
Then I'm going to take that 16 shade just around. Not that it really needs it because it's very, very light. But almost barely noticeable on my skin, kind of light. shim shim shade I'm going with the pink one yeah I'm going with that pink one called love uh, I will take it on a fluffier brush just feel like that would be a better way to apply it Try and take it on a brush. Do you know what? I'm going to wet that and see if it gives it any more oomph. A little bit, but not really. Building up a bit better now. Okay, I'm going to take that blue. And then I'm going to take another little brush. If I can find one. That one will do. I'm going to take the shade Spell, which is that purple there, and I'm just going to put that over the blue. I have a phone call. Bear with me. Sorry about that, guys. I had a phone call. Thought while I was on the phone call, I would do the other eye. So, this is how it's looking. <clears throat> Shift myself closer. Um, so, yeah, this is how it's looking. I did attempt to put a bit of the uh, single highlighter over the top of the pink just to give it a bit more dimension. Pardon me. Um, so, this is how it's looking at the moment. What I'm going to do is, again, you go off start my base come back and we'll do the blusher and stuff like that um i don't know whether or not i want to add some sparkle to that pink because i have got like the pink um w7 glitter liner um so that i might might add some of that i don't know yet uh but i'm gonna go off start my base and i'll be back to do the rest Pardon me, right, I'm back, I've done everything else, um, lashes and everything else. Only thing I have to do is like blusher and stuff, under eye, lip, obviously sort my hair and get dressed, blah blah blah. So we are going in, we're gonna swatch these lovely face powders. Look how beautiful and pink those blusher shades are. Of course I will same as always, you know the order. So, Make It Pink and Love's First Kiss. Oh, that is pretty. So that's the first two. I will turn my light down. Wait a little. There it is. So that's the first two. Then Shield of Virtue and Sword of Truth. That is a very bright pink. And then the last two is Spinning Wheel and Prince Philip. That was like a peachy pink, that's a very icy highlighter. So, yeah, zoom in. Those are top two, middle two, bottom two. 
Um, probably use the top, um, top blusher and the middle highlighter. Then the bottom highlighter I'll use on my inner corner because it is very, very, very light. So yeah, I'm going to use Make It Pink, which is the top blusher. I could go in with the one down from it, but I feel like that is very, very bright. And I don't think that would go down very well if I'm on. I think I'll take a dab of it. Dab of the X Oh yeah, that. <laughs> that is a very, very bright and very pink colour. Okay. So I'm gonna take Sword of Truth, which is the middle highlighter, which is like the so like a rose goldy kind of colour. Maybe not, maybe that's a little bit dark. Hold on. That's very, I mean on my light it's probably making it look a bit, but it's very subtle. Yeah, okay, maybe not. Maybe I will no, do you know what? I'm going to take this one. I'm actually going to use this one. Now, this one does come off pink. Has a pink sheen to it. If you don't like blinding highlights and you like something more subtle and kind of lit from within, then these are a good formula. Obviously, I, I do like quite a blinding highlight. There is no um, surprise there. Okay, so very, very, very subtle highlight. Let's go. Um, yeah, like very. At least from what I can see in the camera, it's not really picking it up at all. But even in my mirror, like in real life, it's not really picking up much. Um, right, I'm gonna take this little pointy brush. I'm gonna take the one, the Prince Philip one, which is the bottom one, which is a very light. I'm like very icy colour. That's probably the most uh what's the word? Like gives a, the most kind of impact out of all of them. Obviously I imagine the gold would but the gold is too dark for my skin tone. Steph Thomas calls it a milk moustache. That's how that's looking. So we need to do under eye. I kind of want to use that pink on oh, the edge. So let's find a brush. And we need to clean my brushes. Someone shout at me to do that, please. I'm going to take the shade Aurora, which is that pink. Uh, I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. I'm not going to take it on that brush. That is a lie. I'm going to wipe off the purple off of that brush and I'm going to use that brush instead.
not given the most colour but it's building up okay it's just not given a whole lot really Take the Prince Philip shade again. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna do like Lara's mascara, throw a lip on, get dressed, sort my hair up, blah 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 blah, and I will be back. Okay, this is the finished look. This is it done. Uh, my lips, I went for my Morphe Bay pencil and my Revolution Pro stripped lipstick. You know, that is a favourite combination for me. I have got the stripped liner, uh, but for some reason I prefer this with Bay because it's like ever so slightly darker and it just, it just works. Um, so yeah, this is the finished look. Now it's all completed, it does look very pretty, but that doesn't take away from the fact that the shadows didn't perform anywhere near as well as I had hoped. Um, I mean, I didn't add any glitter or anything onto the pink, I've left it as is, um, and it, it does look pretty. It's just not what I was hoping for. The shadows that I used in here were quite powdery and it just didn't really have the oomph the one the one that did was the blue and even the purple actually when I added that the blue and the purple were pretty good um the pink on the underneath is built up lovely but you saw at the beginning when I tried those greens it just didn't really have any kick like to it at all so yeah I used one two three four five six six of the shades um in here and obviously I used those two a bit of that and a bit of that as well but oh and I also used a tiny bit of the single highlighter but yeah I mean all in all it looks it looks pretty um it just didn't perform as well as I'd hoped now I'm going to be trying the aerial one tomorrow so I'm hoping that that one performs a bit better but um yeah, I don't really know what else to say, but I say that it's a lovely colour story. The blushes were lovely. The highlight is the one, though, the two that I used. The one that I used on my inner corner and brow bone, which is Prince Philip. That one um, is quite nice, and I feel like if I had used that uh, on my face and stuff, like if the tone was right, then that would have looked really lovely. Sword of Truth, again, they're very subtle. If you like subtle highlight, it's great. Uh, personally I like subtle highlighters that I can build into a blinding one I like blinding highlights but yeah I mean I, I do like face powders in this palette as well so not a total flop mm, it's kind of like a half win I'd say but yeah this is how it looks I'll zoom you in and you can see obviously how it all looks but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, have you tried, I promise that I'm not naked, I have just got a, a off shoulder top on. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, let me know, have you tried any of these Disney palettes? Uh, which ones have you tried if you have? And what do you think of them? Uh, I'm not quite sure which is my favorite so far. I think it's a tie between Belle and Jasmine. So far they are probably the better two. The Snow White one wasn't bad either, but I think Jasmine and Belle are kind of tied for first in my eyes at the moment. Um, but yeah, that is me done. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please do not forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, all of that good stuff. We'll lean this way, socials are up here. They are also linked down below along with everything else from the video that you could need. I did try and keep most of my face revolution just to tie in um uh, with the rest of the video um so i will link everything that i've used and yeah i think that's it patreon amazon everything else of course is linked below and yeah i'm pretty sure that is it for me for today yeah 
I'm going to say it is. I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.